Hello once again everybody, Alias here and welcome back to the second part of the speed test experiment. A quick recap on what the speed test experiment actually is. First I take a geometry dash icon that's able to jump, and then I try and figure out how many big spikes and how many spaces it can jump across at different speeds. The first video did insanely well, so sooner than I thought I'm back with the second part. Last time we were messing around with the cube game mode, and what we're gonna discover today are the jumping capabilities of the robot game mode. However, since you guys have been bugging me about the UFO game mode also being able to jump, I've kind of made a little deal with the devil. If this video hits 3000 likes, I'm going to do the third part of the series where I'm going to be testing the UFO game mode jumping capabilities. All right, we got everything ready to begin the experiment. There's just one little thing that I wanted to mention. We are approaching 100,000 subscribers so quickly that I have to demonstrate it with potatoes. Okay, so right here I have 10 potatoes. Now imagine each one of these potatoes represents 10,000 people. So far, what we managed to eat is all of these, all of the first row and then almost the entirety of the second row too. We only have to eat this last one and then we're the 100,000. So the sooner we get to the end of this last one, the sooner all of these potatoes will be complete. I am aware that this is a bit of a weird analogy and I have no idea what to do with these potatoes now that I put them all here, but... Let's get to 100k. And with that in mind, we are now ready to start. Back again on my experimental playground. Let the second part of the speed test begin. Okay, so now that we know how far the cube can jump, it's time to move on to the next gameplay, the robot. I think I'm actually going to build a bit of a better background for the robot, because if we're switching the game mode, then we might as well switch everything. Let's get to work. It's rather absurd, but I built an entire city for this experiment. It definitely took a while. Anyway, time for half-speed robot. Let's begin with uh, four spikes. At half-speed, the robot should manage that. Oh my god, what is this monstrosity? What have I made out of this poor city? It's all messed up! I better stay away from creating. Well, anyway, we know that the robot is able to jump past four spikes. I think I'll be adding another spike. And the poor city didn't fix itself. It's gonna stay like this forever. I would really not want to live in this. Anyway, five spikes. Is it possible for the robot to jump past this? He's almost making it, but it's not possible. So we're gonna have to decrease this a bit. We're gonna have to go... One spike is 15 spaces, right? So we're gonna go 4 plus 10. Is the robot able to jump over this? Disclaimer, I am not that good with the robot, so it's gonna take a bit longer to determine what the actual limit is. So I believe 4 plus 10 is not possible. Let's try 4 and... Eight. If this is possible, then the limit is either this or 4 plus 9. So let's find out. Okay, 4 plus 8 is possible. I was about to say that it wasn't possible, but then I got lucky and made it. Okay, so we know that 4 plus 8 is doable. What about 4 plus 9? Okay, so I couldn't really do 4 plus 9. So the limit for the robot at half speed is 4 spikes and 8 spaces. Next speed. Next up, we got robot at normal speed. Not sure how many spikes this can jump through because I'm really not familiar with the robot gameplay, but I think it can do 5 plus 7. Yeah, I think this is gonna be my starting point. 5 plus 7. Let's see if I was right. Okay, yes, this is definitely possible. I feel like I should bring the total amount of spikes closer to 6. So I'm gonna try almost 6, which is 5 plus 12. This looks like something straight from a challenge. Okay, that was barely, barely possible. I literally felt the edge of the spike there. Since this was so close, I think this is actually the limit. But I'm still gonna try 5 plus 13 with the double jump strategy. That way I'm instantly gonna know if it's the limit or not. So let's see if 513 is possible. Okay, as it turns out, 5 spikes, 13 spaces is no longer possible, so I'm gonna conclude it here. The furthest you can jump with normal speed robot is 5 spikes and 12 spaces. Moving on to the next speed. With three more to go, we are now at robot with double speed. My starting point for this is gonna be six spikes, but since robot with every speed was able to jump over an X amount of spikes plus X amount of spaces, I'm gonna add a bunch of spaces at the end. I think six spikes and 10 spaces is a good point to begin with. So let's see if the double speed robot can jump over this. 
Definitely. Okay, so I might actually add seven spikes instead of six. So can the double speed robot jump past seven spikes? Okay, this felt way too easy as well, so I'm gonna have to bump it up even further. I'm gonna do seven spikes and five spaces. This, for a double speed especially, looks quite challenging. So I wonder if it's still possible. Let's try it out. We're starting to reach the point where the city is not even big enough for the robot anymore, and we're barely at double speed. I think I'm gonna have to expand the city. But at least I know that seven spikes and five spaces is still doable for the double speed robot. I kind of felt like that was really close to the limit though. So I think seven spikes, six spaces is not going to be possible anymore. But still, I'm going to try it out. Is this the limit? Let's see. Oh, it wasn't. Turns out seven spikes, six spaces is still doable. However, now I actually feel like we've reached the top. If the double speed robot can jump over seven spikes, seven spaces, I am going to be wordless. Fortunately for me, as it turns out, seven spikes, seven spaces is no longer possible with the double speed robot. So the limit for it is seven spikes and six spaces. We got two left. Let's move on to the next speed. Okay, one before the last, the triple speed robot. The city is literally not big enough for this, so I'm actually going to have to expand it. Time to get to work again. There we go. Call me an architect. So since double speed robot could jump over seven spike six spaces, that makes me feel like the triple speed one can jump over nine. It looks ambitious, but I have a feeling I could do this. God, this video is so repetitive. On second thought, I actually think this can't jump over nine spikes, but I feel like it's very, very close. So I'm going to do eight spikes, 14 spaces. Something tells me that the robot can jump over this. Let's see how it does. Okay, never mind. 8 spikes, 14 spaces, still not possible. Here we have 8 spikes and 13 spaces, which I believe is the limit. Anything from this point on that is possible is the limit to triple speed robot. One last test and we'll settle the score. Okay, turns out 8 spikes, 13 spaces is the limit to how far triple speed robot can jump. And now we're at the very end of the experiment. We're about to move on to the very last section. The one final speed that we still need to cover. The absolute limit to how far the robot in this game can possibly jump. Let's do this. So we got the robot and we got the four speed. For this, my starting point's gonna be 11 spikes. Wait, did I make 11? Is this 12? Yeah, this is 12. Nice. All right, 11 spikes. Are we about to find the true limit to how far the robot game mode can jump in this entire game? Oh, 11 spikes is actually possible. That honestly looked like it wouldn't even be close to being possible. So 11 spikes. All of this, all of this is how far the robot can jump. But have we reached the end yet? Is this it? Or can we go even further? 11 spikes and one space. Now we're on the final countdown. This is it. This will determine everything. Is the robot able to jump over all of this? Let's see what the answer is. Sadly, everything must come to an end, and so does the limit to how far the four-speed robot can jump. We have now discovered that the maximum possible distance that it can still manage to jump over is 11 spikes. And 11 spikes is gonna be the note that we're gonna be ending this video on, folks. If you enjoyed what you just watched, consider sharing this video around or subscribing. And after all, remember, 3,000 likes and I release another episode in this series. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, make sure to feed your dog, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Here I have a robot, quadruple speed, a lot of spikes, a bajillion ball portals, and a jump pad. What could possibly go wrong? I am literally gonna send you a completely real microwave.